Hello, this is Christian. Welcome to Angular. In this video, we're going to implement the delete operation in the CRUD operation here. When we click on the delete, it uh, grabs the flight or the um, the ID here, which is number we call under the number column. <clears throat> now, these are not index positions. Uh, these are the actual ID or the number we assigned to the uh, data set. So if you think about a database system or a relational database, this would be like your primary IDs. Okay, and we want to grab this because these are unique, right? You want to use like, uh, you know, airlines or trip type or all these stuff here. The flight number may also be unique, but um, we can choose either that or the ID number. And the best option is to use the primary key. So we use that. And when we once we get a ID, like if you press F12, I showed you when I click on the um, delete for three, it returns index of three. So when that is returned uh, to send to the function, we're going to match this ID, look for this ID in the list here. If it finds that ID, then returns the index position for this record. In this case, it would be an index of two, right? Zero, one, two. And we're going to splice it, remove that from the list or from the array. Okay. So the process is very simple. We're just removing data from RAM in this case. We're not removing data from a permanent data set like uh, in a dictionary, I mean, in a uh, database or a text file. If you were to do that, you do a little bit differently. You just use some, you know, SQL statements. But the project process and logic is still pretty much the same. Okay, so for example, in JavaScript, you would use the splice because that's how you remove a particular element from a database um, from a da from an array. So let's just say I have a data set called um, of uh, some numbers. Just put here ID uh, one, two, three, and I'll just put like with three simple data sets. Second set will be like three, four, five, and then one more, four, five, six. So that's my data set. Okay, and now I want to find a matching uh, ID in there. If it finds one, then returns that ID or the index position. So I'm going to say index is assigned uh, with the following data. Data use a function call find index. And this one you can pass in the element from the list when it finds the matching ID in the list of the ID field matches a particular ID I want to pass in. So in this case it would be like three, four, five, for example, if you want to catch match that. If it does, it should return the index of one, which it did. Okay, so if I put here another number, four, five, six, now if it's not there, it returns a minus one. All right. And so if it returns a minus one, in this case, since we're using JavaScript, we want to make sure that we don't process the deletion process. Um, so there's nothing there, right? If you happen to use the minus one as the index to delete, it will do it and it will work. But what it will do is that it will grab the last element on the list because the minus one index, if you're counting from the right side to the left, then you go in the negative direction. So you get a negative index. And um, so be very careful with this in JavaScript and also in Python because they do take negative values for index, whereas most other languages probably do not. OK, so uh, that means if you get a ne negative one, we don't want to do anything here. OK, so to splice it, then if I go back and grab the correct index one, then I'll say um, data dot splice at the index position. And that's just one. How many? Just one. The second parameter is to count. If you don't put anything there, it's going to strip off everything from that point on. If you want to remove two, you put two here. Okay. If you put more than what you have in the list, it doesn't matter. It's going to remove everything of that list if you have uh, less than the number you put here. Okay. So you just want to remove one from that list. And then this function is splice return uh, the element or elements that was removed. In this case, it's just the three, four, five. Okay. Remove that already. And then now data is now been uh, re reduced by one. So you can see that we have only two left and it should be those last two, the one, two, three, and the four, five, six remain. All right, so that is the logic behind here and we'll use the same example and the code to delete each record from the list. So let's go and see how this is done. 
All right, so right in here, go to Angular, SRC for the source, the app. We're just going to go into the components and the flight list component TS. All right, so we have the delete flight here. We're going to remove this now. And so I'm going to grab the index from this flights list that matches this ID that it was received from the view. So I would say let index equal the this flights dot find index and I'm passing the element to this function and when the element ID matches this ID that I received if that is true then returns it to the index position to this index right if it's not there um, then you want to check it why why do you say why do you check it is always going to be there well there are cases where sometimes we have two people or you know there's a, a lot of people are like um, working at the same time if you imagine if you go to Amazon and you buy a product and if the product is the last one on the list and somebody bought it while you're still looking at it and you think it's still there and you try to purchase it it's gone right so like right at that instance so that's why you want to make sure that it's really is there um, otherwise you might accidentally delete the last element again I mentioned about the minus one so you can say if the index is not a minus one Okay, we we'll want to make sure it's really there. Then and only then should we delete this. So we'll say this flight dot splice at the index position and just remove that single element. Okay, so we'll save that and we're done. Let's go to the view and see if this works. I'll clear my console here and so let's refresh my page and I'm gonna remove flight. Uh, Southwest Airlines. So here we go. We deleted that from RAM. It's going to be moved and it prints out the ID here as, as we console it out. And the list has been re rendered. And uh, as you notice, these numbers do not get re indexed because they are the actual uh, flight ID inside the list. If it's the index, then this will be re re um, indexed. And you get the same number in order back. And we don't want that in this scenario. All right. So here we go. It works for very nicely and I'm able to delete all these data set this only works because we're not refreshing or reloading the page if you reload the page every time then it won't work because again we're just dealing with uh, RAM data right all right so I hope this is helpful and if you have any questions shoot me an email put a comment and let me know thank you